Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor of Simply Vegas. Today, we'll be exploring a home that has been completely remodeled in the community of Talent Point in Summerlin of Las Vegas, Nevada. The community of Talent Point is located in central Summerlin. The major crossroads are North Town Center Drive and Anasazi Drive. Talent Point will be a gated community. It features 111 home sites and an HOA of $80 per month and a Summerlin Master HOA of $55 per month for a total of $135 per month. These homes have no SIDS or LIDS as they have been paid off many years ago. The homes in Talent Point were built between the years of 1999 and 2001. The home sizes will range between 2,900 square feet to 3,600 square feet. The nearby amenities include the Summerlin Hospital, TPC Las Vegas Golf Course, Wallapai Canyon Hiking Trail, the Oxford Park, the Crossing Park, Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa, Downtown Summerlin, the Las Vegas Ballpark, and the City National Arena. TPC at Summerlin is a private golf club that was opened in 1991. It is a champion golf course that was designed by Bobby Weed and is a member of the Tournament Players Club operated by the PGA Tour. Before we get started, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. The property that we'll be featuring today is 105 North Potato Woods Lane. This home was built in 2001 and features 3,491 square feet, 5 bedrooms, 4 full bathrooms, and a 3 car garage. I would like to also give a special thank you to the listing agent, Robert Robertson of Real Broker LLC for allowing me to do a home tour on his listing. At the front of your home, you have this large driveway that leads to a three car garage. A modern porch light. And a really tall mission arch. Your front door will be a French door with obscured glass. I want to show you something about this door. All you need to do is unlock these hinges and then your obscured glass would open up. And you'll still have this mesh here to help keep bugs and flies out. I think it's a pretty cool feature. In the foyer and throughout the home, you have 9 foot ceilings. This will include both upstairs and downstairs. The primary flooring throughout this home will be a luxury vinyl plank. Just a quick look throughout your main living area. Starting here will be your great room. The great room measures 17 by 16 and will feature 20 foot soaring ceilings, 4 LED lights and a large ceiling fan. We also have these large windows here that give this place a lot of natural light. Also in your grid room is a custom LED fireplace and a beautiful custom accent wall with an outlet here to mount the TV.
From the great room, you can see the walkway to the bedrooms upstairs. Next to the entry is also your dining room. The dining room measures 14 by 10. The dining room also has this custom chandelier. I'm not sure what the theme is. This home walls have crown molding throughout. And the baseboards will be an oversized 7 inch baseboard. This space here will be your flex space with a modern ceiling fan that has a light. You also have two windows and a sliding glass door that leads to your backyard. In the flex space, we also have a dry bar with a few floating shelves and a tiled backsplash all the way to the ceiling. It's a fairly glossy tile as well. Grey quartz countertop and white cabinets with gold hardware. Also a wine fridge with multi-climates. That's a beautiful kitchen. I like the placement of this wine cellar. Not only is it frameless, but it's also three-sided as well. Matte black handle, a 3 8 inch tempered glass, also an LED light in here as well. This space here is a cafe, it measures 10 by 9 and there's also a pre-wire for a chandelier or a light. And here with the kitchen. The kitchen is very spacious and measures 20 by 14. There's also a kitchen island skin, a waterfall edge with a quartz countertop. You have a lot of movement in this quartz. Two pendant lights. Here with a spring pull down kitchen faucet in a stainless steel finish. It's a moan and I really like the finish. Garbage disposal button and a soap dispenser. Now this sink is pretty unique. It's an Oxweiser single basin undermount sink. And it comes with this cutting board that fits perfectly. You can also slide it back and forth. And there's also a measuring ruler on it. We also have an electrical outlet with a USB type A and C outlet. The dishwasher is of GE Monogram. It does have three racks. A Cosmo microwave. Push a button to open. 
and push the button again to close. Another USB outlet with Type A and Type C. The kitchen perimeter countertop will be a white quartz. This will be the cover for your hood. We also have a pot filler and a stainless steel finish. And a glossy white tile backsplash in a herringbone pattern. The range will be a Gen Air 36 inch 6 gas burner. The Gen Air logo. And a statement handle. The entire home will have soft close hinges and dovetail drawers. We also have GE monogram double ovens here. When you include the oven from the range, this home will have three ovens. We have a lot more cabinet space here. This kitchen will have 42 inch upper cabinets and upper stack cabinets. And here we have a giant pair. A GE monogram 48 inch built in fridge. But this room has been converted to be a garage entry. With a 6x6 tile floor. Also base and upper cabinets and a boot bench here. Knobs to hang your coat or hat. Also a utility sink. Stainless steel on the mount sink. And this door leads to a three car garage. This is the two car garage. It measures 20 by 20 and you'll have these racks for additional storage. Also an access door to your backyard. Two windows here that overlook the front of your home. Covered with 2 inch blinds. Your main water shut off. Irrigation controls. And this would be the one bay garage, which is slightly smaller. It measures 16 by 11. You won't be able to fit a full size car in here. With a tanked water heater. And the water softener. This is one of the two sliding glass doors that lead to your backyard. 
The other side of glass door is located in the cafe. Here are also one of the two covered patios. This covered patio measures 16 by 8. With this large artificial turf in the backyard. The exterior of this home has also been painted. Check out this pool. It even has a diving board. This pool measures 33 by 19 and it's also 9 foot deep. We have a few palm trees here. A hose bib. Barbecue gas stub. And this is the other covered patio. This one measures 10 by 6. It's also a floodlight here. And a few steps down into your pool. We also have a spa that has two waterfall returns. Overall, nice backyard. It's a built-in barbecue island with a granite countertop. Capital Grill, but well, certainly not new. Here we have a doggy door from the cafe. Your pool equipment, which includes a pool heater, a pool pump, and a pool filter. Two AC units. And your access door from your garage. Heading back inside. This is your coat closet. And there's some additional space around this corner. This is bathroom 4 with a white quartz on the top, rectangular on the mount sink, and matte black fixtures. The vanity mirror also has a matte black frame, we also have a gold wall mounted light fixture, a window that faces your side yard and a single piece toilet. We also have this beautiful frameless shower. And this will have a 3 8 inch tempered glass. Gold fixtures in the shower. Tiles on the perimeter walls are large 24 by 36 tiles. And the accent wall will be a subway tile in a vertical pattern in a straight set. We also have a small bench here. And the shower pan will be a small circular tile. Next to bathroom 4 is bedroom 5. 
Bedroom 5 will be the only bedroom that's downstairs. Technically, it is not a bedroom, but more of a den. It will have windows as well as a door, but it does not have a closet. Two windows that overlook the front of your home. Let's head upstairs. The stair rails will be a wrought iron rail with double baskets. These two windows here will help it let in a lot of light. Great view from up here. A window here that overlooks the front of your home. And this is your laundry room. We have a utility sink, similar to the one downstairs. Same exact faucet. Space for a washer and dryer. And a built-in linen shelf here. A thermostat for upstairs. An access door to your attic. Down this hall will be bedrooms 2, 3, and 4, and bathrooms 2 and 3. Let's start with the primary bedroom. We have carpet in all the bedrooms. The primary bedroom will feature a custom LED fireplace and a tiled wall from the floor to the ceiling, as well as an upper outlet for your TV mount. We also have a ceiling fan with a light. and two large windows with a French door that leads to your balcony. Both doors can be opened. This is your balcony which measures 16 by 8. A modern black porch light. And views of the Red Rock Mountains. This home does back up the North Town Center Drive so you may get some road noise. We also have great views of your pool and your backyard. This will be your primary bathroom. Looks like vinyl plank flooring. A 
and this would be your walk-in closet. It also has custom shelving. Three vanity mirrors in your primary bathroom with gold wall mounted lights. Vanity mirrors will also have a gold frame. White quartz countertops. Matte black fixtures. And undermount sinks. Now these cabinets are not new, but they did change out the hardware. Here's a chandelier that's similar to the one in the dining room. You have these large windows with beautiful mountain views. A large gold faucet and a handheld shower. And a beautiful freestanding tub. We also have this beautiful frameless shower. 8 inch tempered glass. The porcelain tile that they use is quite busy, but I think it works. It's a large 24 by 48 tile. And we have a rain shower head. a handheld shower, as well as a bench and a soap niche. This would be the water closet, single piece toilet, and the window. The first door in the hallway leads to bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 measures 15 by 11. It also has a ceiling fan with the light and we also have this large window that overlooks the front of your home. Bedroom 2 will also have its own ensuite bathroom which is bathroom 2. Here with the same features as the other bathrooms. Bathroom 2 would be a shower and tub combo. We also have this window here. I feel that if you live in this home, you'll always know when someone's coming home, whether showering or in your bedroom. This is bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 measures 11 by 11. And it also has a ceiling fan with a light, a reaching closet. And bedroom 3 will share a Jack and Joe bathroom, which is bathroom 3. Bathroom 3 will have dual vanities and double sinks. The white quartz, the matte black fixtures. 
and a separate room for your toilet as well as your bathtub and shower combo. Same design here as bathroom 2. This is bedroom 4. Bedroom 4 measures 13 by 15. It has a reaching closet. Three small upper windows. And a larger side window. Also in your hallway is linen cabinets. This concludes my home tour of 105 North Patel Woods Lane in Sumlin of Las Vegas, Nevada. If you enjoyed my video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or like my real estate assistance in buying or selling home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please do not hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching the very end and I'll see you in the next video.